$638 extra per month for social security recipients and this one including people receiving social security SSI, SSDI, survivors, fixed income beneficiaries. I have got all the details about this new report release showing up significant increase into the benefits and this encompasses over 71 million beneficiaries. It's a life changing one very important for all the recipients like I mentioned. So guys without further ado let's jump right into all the details. Alright guys, I'm thrilled to be here today because I have got some exciting news to share with you and imagine waking up with an extra $638 in your pocket every single month. Well, that sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. So let's deep dive into all the details of a recently released report that is making some waves into the world of social security. Now, this new report reveals that beneficiaries including retirees, those with the disabilities, SSDI, those with the limited income, SSI could be in for a game-changing increase for their monthly benefits and when I say that it's a game-changing one I mean it's a life-changing one and we are talking about a whopping $638 per month extra just pause for a moment and think about it what that kind of a money could do for you well you can pay your bills maybe treat yourself with something nice or simply breathe a little easier knowing that there is more financial security each and every month coming up now this new report isn't just some pile into the sky dream because here's the thing it's based on the solid data and analysis it encompasses over 71 million beneficiaries and that's a significant chunk of population and each and every one of them stands to benefit from this potential increase but before we understand uh, let's rewind a bit and see how we got here until this point now this report takes us back into the year 2000 conducting a research a thorough examination of the cost of living adjustment over past 23 years. It's a comprehensive study. Now we have seen tons and tons of cost of living adjustment colas come and go some years even delivering big fat 0% increase. But on an average those adjustments resulted in about 60% increase into the benefits. That sounds impressive right? But here is the thing guys hold on for a moment because here is where it gets really really interesting. While the benefits have seen a decent boost about 60% increase on an average basis the expenses have have skyrocketed and yes we are talking about whopping 150 percent increase into the living expenses over the same 23 years period wow that's a double rate of benefit increases and i'm shocked by those numbers so what does that all mean for you your benefits well it means that despite the increases into the benefits that the cost of living adjustment has provided us it haven't kept pace with the rising cost of living and that's why the 638 dollars comes into the play if benefits had been adjusted to match the pace of the expenses, the average beneficiaries could be receiving an extra $638 each and every month. Wow, that's a lot of money. Now I know guys, you might be thinking, why hasn't this has been done before? Well, it's a complex issue and adjusting the benefits at this particular scale could have a significant impact, significant implications on to the financial stability of social security. With over 71 million beneficiaries, even a modest increase could add up up to a billions and billions of dollars into the expenses of the social security trust fund and here's the thing we owe it to the beneficiaries to ensure that they are not just scraping by but thriving social security has been a lifeline for millions and millions of americans but it's the time to address the discrepancies between the benefits and what is the actual cost of living adjustment that we should be getting now let me break it down further now benefits have seen increase of over 60 percent into the last couple of decades that sounds pretty good but hold on tight because here's where it gets really interesting while benefits have been climbing expenses have been soaring like crazy it's soaring through the roof and we are talking about a jaw-dropping increase of about 150 percent increase into the living expenses over the same 23 years period crazy right now let me crunch some numbers right over here if we compare the boost into the benefits that is 60 plus percent increase to the surge into the expense that is 150 percent increase it's basically trying to fit a square peg into the round hole uh, the math doesn't simply add up uh, like that this discrepancy translates into a whopping 638 dollar difference wow yes you heard it right 638 dollars per month extra now imagine this if these benefits had kept pace with the expenses the average beneficiaries could be enjoying an extra 638 dollars in their pocket 
each and every month. Now that's like hitting a jackpot. But here is a kicker guys. The discrepancy wasn't by the accident. But here is the thing. Some folks uh, speculate that this might have been done intentionally. Why? Let me show you. Well, it's because adjusting those benefits in order to match the real cost of living could potentially strain the finances of the Social Security Trust Fund. And that's not good for all Social Security recipients. Now imagine if they had made adjustment just 23 years ago by switching from CPIW to CPIE. Uh, this is how they calculate the cost of living adjustment. CPIE is the crucial number to determine the cost of living adjustment. It gives more accurate reflection of the expenses, but it could also have put more strain onto the social security on fast tracking to the financial trouble. So what's the key takeaway right over here? Well, it's a complex issue with a no easy answers, but we need to keep the conversation going on. We owe it to the beneficiaries to ensure that they are not just scraping by but thriving. So that's why we need to keep pushing for the change and advocating for the payroll system. But the reality is for millions and millions of Americans, they are missing out on $638 per month extra. And guys, imagine this over 71 million folks are relying on the social security benefits and average person is pocketing over $600 each and every month. So that's not a small amount of change, right? Because here is the kicker. If the benefits were to be matching the real pace of inflation, it would mean extra $638 per month for the average beneficiary. And honestly, that's a game changer. But hold on onto your horses because that is where it gets really tricky. If social security were to dish out those increased benefits to all the beneficiaries, we'd be looking at a hefty bill. And guess what? It's like whopping $42 billion more per month. Wow, that's like a staggering amount. It could have been seriously draining the trust fund at much faster rate than you can sustain the entire social security system and now i'm not saying that it shouldn't make it right but let's face it balancing the books isn't just a child play the social security has to be trained carefully in order to avoid running out of the funds much earlier than anticipated and here's the thing guys the current cost of living adjustment aren't just cutting the expenses because the expenses are skyrocketing uh think about food shelter the transportation the cost Cost of living adjustment isn't keeping pace with the real inflation. We are talking merely 2.8% when expenses are soaring way beyond that. So when we do the math over 23 years, it's pretty clear that the beneficiaries are getting the short end of the stick and that's extra $638 uh, which could have made the difference between scraping by and having a comfortable living for many beneficiaries. It's not just about numbers, it's not about the livelihoods, but it's about the entire way how we live. I'm not here to rain onto the social security system. It's a lifeline for millions and millions of beneficiaries. It's a high time for some serious reforms. But here is the thing guys, we can't keep kicking the can down the road while beneficiaries are struggling to make their basic end meets. It's time to roll up the sleeves and address the broken social security system. This is in order to ensure that social security fulfills the promise of the social security beneficiaries and dignity for all the retirees. So guys, let's keep advocating, let's keep the conversation going on and let's keep pushing for the initiatives to our lawmakers. Share your thoughts, spread the word, let's work together and build a brighter financial future for everybody. Guys, make sure to hit that like if you found this video helpful. Share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from Hari guys. See you in the next video.